How's it? This is Hoala Grivy, founder and CEO of Powbox. We're here at HIMS 18 in Las Vegas, and I'm here with my friend Chris Credenton, president of SafetyNet Connect. Without further ado, let's get started. Chris, can you tell me more about the uh, what your company does and what problems you guys solve? Yeah, so we uh, uh, solve two problems in healthcare. Uh, one is the communication problem between primary care physicians and specialists. We've uh, created a system we refer to as eConsult, and it helps coordinate uh, the care and do away with the need uh, for inappropriate referrals. Uh, the second uh, system that we provide is what we call uh, care coordination and connect system where we help uh, deal with patients that when they're discharged from a hospital, get them the appropriate care and transitions of care uh, through our systems. What would be an example of an inappropriate uh, referral? So, um, Typically in some of the uh, systems, a uh, physician is fairly busy. Um, they still use some archaic systems like a fax. Yeah. And uh, somebody would come in and be complaining about a rash on their arm and he's like, oh, I don't know, you need to see the dermatologist, Send, give it to their nurse, the nurse would fax it over, get an off and they would uh, go have to see the dermatologist. In our system, they would take a picture, ask a question, can I uh, resolve this here or do I need to send them the dermatologist? We ask some questions like, have they changed the soap? Have they been hiking in a place where maybe they got poison oak? Uh, do, through the process of education elimination, probably that patient would get help and not need to do an extra visit at the dermatologist. And for the second set of services you folks provide, can you tell us more about this safety net concept? Because uh, I was very unfamiliar with it before. Um, so uh, when we first got into the business, we found that there was so much low-hanging fruit in uh, county health systems uh, where we could do a lot of good. So uh, we basically focused on just the safety net population, which is in California, uh, Medi-Cal uh, or indigent uh, programs, which is uh, basically county run programs that deal with uh, people that are uninsured, homeless people and whatnot. And uh, we created basically everything that high tier people get with uh, private insurance. Uh, we created an electronic system that allows them to have appropriate care coordination, uh, services, uh, efficient referrals, um, and when they show up at the myriad of different places, their information follows them, uh, which is really nice. That's cool, man. So what does your uh, ideal customer look like? It's a county? Yes, we, we love county health programs, uh, public uh, health programs. Uh, we like uh, working with those systems. Uh, typically, uh, we love to go into a system where they have a backlog of referrals um, and we can bring in e-consult, uh, change the workflow. Uh, we reduce inappropriate uh, referrals by around 50% on some of the specialties. Uh, we reduce the backlog, sometimes for a GI uh, visit. It's, it's, you know, 180 days. Uh, we, we get access to the specialist down to two days and then we uh, we actually turn it into a system where they actually schedule the appointment within the appropriate amount of time whether it's 30 days or 45 days so uh, we've eliminated basically backlogs for specialty visits. How big is your team and where are you guys located? Uh, we're uh, 20 plus people we're located in Newport Beach we also have an office uh, in Texas and then we have some affiliate offices uh, partners uh, one in uh, Chicago and one in Connecticut. Wow, yeah. all over. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. So, what's your uh, what's your biggest takeaway from Hims 18 so far? Uh, there seems to be a lot of hype about uh, AI and blockchain. Uh, the, the takeaway on blockchain is it is not ready for prime time, at least in healthcare. It is far, far, far from ready. Uh, the AI stuff was extremely interesting and I think it's going to create some efficiencies, especially uh, in specialty care, uh, radiology, dermatology, um, anything in a visual aspect where you can, uh, retinopathy, where you can basically look at the images and have it learn which is a, a bad image versus a good image. And Chris, where do you see your the industry going in the future? I don't want to give away too many secrets, but I'm just kidding. Uh, but basically, um, there's going to be some co consolidation as far as uh, what we're seeing with the EMRs, smaller uh, healthcare software plays. Um, it seems like care coordination is evolving. 
Uh, and uh, I think analytics supporting that real-time care, no care coordination is really going to change uh, how people uh, get health care and interact with it. And all these mobile devices are really doing a big change too. Patients are more hooked in than they've ever been before. Yeah. Optimistic for the future? Oh yeah. I, I do think tel uh, technology is going to solve some of the issues that are facing us that uh, the politicians cannot solve, but we can solve it. Okay, we're going to do the lightning round with Chris Crudenton. Ready? Yeah. Favorite Hawaiian food? Poke. Yeah, right on. How many times have you seen the movie Big Lebowski? Two, two times. Two times? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say too many. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, you ever been kayak fishing? I have not been kayak fishing, no. Okay, we got to get that going. Yeah. What book or books are you reading now? Uh, my uh, One of my favorite books is The uh, uh, Art of the Start by a Guy. Uh, Tell us. Kawasaki? Yeah, I always, he has an updated version and I always print out some of the pages and tape them on my desk. No kidding. Love it. Because I do a lot of presentations. Love it. I know someone who knows him. I will make sure he hears about that. Okay. That's cool. I don't know him directly though, but I can get to him. Huh. When's the last time you sent a fax? Believe it or not, I had to send one uh, a couple weeks ago for like a soccer thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Not, no, nothing to do with healthcare. Favorite karaoke jam? Go to song? Stone Temple Pilots, uh, Vaseline. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, last question. Who would win in the octagon? A silverback gorilla or a polar bear? I'm going to go with polar bear. Oh, team polar bear all the way. I mean, come on. It's not even a question. <laughs> all right. Thank right on, Chris. Thanks a lot, man.